I recently returned from an amazing five day backpacking trip in Wyoming's spectacular Wind River Range. There was a little bit of everything, amazing sunsets and sunrises, amazing mountain peaks, and just some overall phenomenal light for photography. I did a ton of hiking over this five day trip, which even included a little bit of rain as well. And this video here is going to be where I show you my whole trip behind the scenes. I'm going to give you some tips some tricks, exactly what I'm thinking. I'm going to show you some of the amazing scenery uh, and this is just a little preview. So let's go ahead and see where it all got started. Like any good hike, this one started at a trailhead. I loaded up my bag and got ready to embark into the wilderness for five days days. Now the hike was quite far on the first day. I think I traveled about 12 miles and it just seemed to last forever. There was nothing really exciting until the end. There was a lot of creek crossings um, and finally there was an open meadow about halfway through where I could see where I was going. Finally, after hiking for the good part of a day, I got to where I could see my final destination, which was this peak here. I had to do a little bit of off-trail travel in order to reach tonight's camp, uh, but finally I made it. And like always, I got my camera out to scout as soon as I got there before I even set up camp. I finally set up camp in this spot here right before the sun went down. Um, and then I ended up heading down the hill to do some more scouting in order to find some compositions for either tonight or for the morning. Unfortunately, as you can see, it was pretty clear this particular evening and there wasn't really any good photo conditions. So after throwing on my 14 millimeter, doing a little scouting for the morning, as well as looking through photo pills to see where the sun and moon would be, uh, I ended up just heading to bed and waiting until the next morning to do any more shooting. When I woke up the next morning, the clouds actually looked really, really good over the mountain peak. Now, because they looked good in this particular direction, I opted to not hike down to the normal lake, but instead I went to a tarn that was just above my camp, which ended up being the right decision. The tarn is right here. You can see the clouds are forming just over the mountain. So I shot here for a little while and ultimately I ended up with an image that I think I'm pretty happy with. Here is the image right here. And what I really like about this image is I captured uh, some interesting clouds in the sky at the same time as the light was hitting the mountain here, which worked out just perfectly. Uh, you can see the mountain was reflecting really nicely in that tarn. It was also a little windy on this particular morning. So another reason why shooting the tarn was a little bit better because you're able to get reflections a lot better on a tarn like that where the water settles quickly than you would in a big lake like the one I scouted the night before. So it all worked out well and overall I was really happy with this image. After eating breakfast I knew it was time to get this show on the road again so I packed up my camp and started hiking. Today I had to go up and over a pretty large pass but the hike only ended up being about eight miles. Uh, there was tons of stream crossings, it was really scenic the whole way up until I finally reached the top of the pass. The views were phenomenal and I was really excited for where I was going. So I hiked down the pass, found this beautiful little river here. I'd love to shoot here, but this wasn't where I was camping. It wasn't my final destination, but I really thought this waterfall composition was just superb. A place that I will definitely want to come back and shoot under better light conditions at another time. So I went ahead and kept hiking and I was looking for this final little ridge line that was past a lake up here. And if I had a dollar for every creek crossing on this trip, I would be a very, very rich man. There was so many creek crossings everywhere. Uh, none of them were too terribly difficult. I was able to just rock hop, but I finally ended up getting to this ridge line. You can see the beautiful view here with this um, really awesome peak and this lake below it. So it just looked fantastic for photography. I found this beautiful campsite. When you find a campsite with this kind of view, trust me, you do not pass it up. Uh, it was a bummer that it was rocky instead of having dirt because it was a little bit more difficult to get my tent down, but it worked out well. 
You can see there was some beautiful light in the afternoon here. I ended up taking some photos and then ultimately doing some more scouting around sunset once my camp was set up. Ultimately, I found another tarn once again, which because it was windy, the tarn was gonna be the way to go. And I could tell that there was some beautiful clouds coming in. So I set up my tripod here and I just waited for the light. It took a little while before the good clouds rolled in, um, but ultimately you can see that there was just some fantastic clouds that were hopefully gonna roll in right above my mountain. So I set up, the light was hitting just right. There was some pretty decent clouds and I ended up with this image here. I like this photo, but uh, it's not quite as good as some of the other photos I got on the trip. I think there's a few reasons for that. The cloud cover wasn't the best here. Uh, some of the rocks in the foreground that in the field I thought would be really good actually ended up being a little more distracting. So you can see some of the rocks in the tarn are a little bit distracting to the image. Ultimately, if I was gonna spend some more time on this edit, I would probably go through and spot heal a few of those rocks, as well as maybe make the mountain a little bit more prominent. But you can see there just wasn't quite enough cloud cover there, but it wasn't a bad image, but it certainly wasn't the best image either. So after this, I went ahead and packed up my stuff, went to bed and got ready for the next morning. So when I suspect that the sunrise is gonna be clear, a lot of times I'll get up a few hours early to shoot some night photos so that I still get some photos that are worthwhile. This particular morning, I woke up a few hours early to capture this photo here, which I actually really liked. What you see here is a photo where the moon had rose about a few hours before I shot this scene just to the left. It was about a 25% a quarter moon, which was providing this beautiful like light onto the foreground. You can see here it perfectly lights up the scene uh, and it, it contours the mountain just perfectly. I really like the direction that the moon was on this particular photo and it drowned out some of the stars but a lot of the brightest stars still shine through so I was really really happy with this photo. And I continued to be happy when I saw the clouds that were rolling in right around sunrise. So I was pretty stoked on this morning. You can see we just got some absolutely fantastic light, some fantastic clouds, and I ended up with this image here. I was super, super happy with it. I had the best of both worlds. I had really nice light hitting my peak, hitting the things around me. And additionally, I had some really nice clouds in the sky that just appeared nice and white and puffy and everything just worked out perfectly on this particular morning. I reframed my composition multiple times. One thing that I wanna note here is this particular composition, you can see how I have this kind of sweeping curve in my foreground. I originally didn't have that after I did some more thinking uh, when I was out in the field, I ended up going with that, but I used that as kind of a leading line to lead you into the image. Well, after I had some breakfast and took a little rest, I knew it was time to get going again. On this particular day, I only had to go about seven miles. It was a pretty easy day with not a whole lot of uphill, uh, but I still knew that I wanted to get to my destination early. There was a potential of storms in the afternoon, which meant two things. First and foremost, I didn't want to be out in the open if there was a lightning storm. And secondly, and maybe more importantly, I knew I wanted to grab some really nice photos. Storms usually bring out the best in photography so I was really excited when I rolled up to camp and saw these nice big clouds right next to my campsite above the subject which was this mountain. I have this beautiful stream to work with. I was able to walk up and down this meadow trying to find the best spot for the particular stream and as the day went on the clouds started to dissipate unfortunately um, but as I continued to wait longer and longer I noticed that the clouds started to build back up again but unfortunately in the wrong direction now a lot of times in photography the clouds will build in the wrong direction but 
ultimately, sometimes they will move their way into the right direction, which was the case in this particular evening. Here you see these beautiful clouds. They're not quite above my subject yet. I was really getting worried, but then as the sun continued to go down, you can see the clouds moved in right above my subject. I knew it was going to be a special night and you can see as the night went on, the conditions continued to get better and better and better. Ultimately, I think I was really lucky with how the clouds ended up on this night and I came out with a photo that I actually really like. Here is the photo here. You can see I've got these beautiful clouds coming in up top. This is a shot at about 30 millimeters. I've got about a half second shutter speed. You can see that kind of slow moving water there. I really like the way that walks you into the scene. It's kind of heavily weighted to the left and those clouds that are colorful are weighted to the right. So it really balanced the scene out nicely. Of course, with the nice big subject in the center, I felt like everything just worked out really, really well in this image. After I shot this image, it was to bed pretty quickly here because I knew a storm was coming tomorrow and I would have to get up early. Day four started about an hour before sunrise because I knew a big storm was supposed to be rolling in that particular day and I had a long ways to go and a long pass to get over. Now about 500 feet above where I camped at, I finally broke out of the fog and I had a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. I wish that I'd gotten up there sooner because I kind of felt a little rushed. I wasn't able to find that exact composition that really made me want to ride home, really gave me that photo that I really, really liked. You can see the fog just kept rolling in and out and I did a lot of different things. I shot some wide angle, I shot some telephoto. Ultimately, I have kind of two photos that I'm somewhat happy with, this being the first one. Not overly thrilled with this photo. I think that there's a lot of things that could have been better um, and I wish that I would have gotten up there a little bit earlier when the clouds were a little bit better color, but this is what I got for the first photo. And I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but this second photo I actually like a little bit better. You can see I've got this nice telephoto shot of the fog like playing with the trees there. And I actually really, really like this one for the really nice light that I got this morning it's honestly kind of a shame that this is the photo that I got that I like the most but I think that it works really well there's like many layers of trees I think ultimately when I go through and really work on this photo I'll probably clone the trees in the very very top of the scene that like fifth layer I'll clone that out but otherwise uh, so far I'm really really happy with this particular photo with the predicted oncoming storm, I knew I had to get going. So as soon as I was done shooting sunrise, I packed up and I continued up the pass and it was quite a long day. After hiking for a good part of the day, I was finally able to see my final destination. Kept hiking and found this beautiful lake and I did a ton of scouting like usual. Maybe you can see behind me here, there is some storm clouds incoming. So I knew the storm was coming and it continued to get foggier. And luckily I retreated to my tent just in time for this rainstorm to hit. As soon as the storm cleared, I went outside and I was shocked at what I was seeing. The sunset was absolutely spectacular. Everything was wet, but I was able to get this amazing photo. I'm not incredibly thrilled with the composition, but obviously you really can't go wrong with that light. The sunset was just absolutely fantastic. I wish these it would have stopped raining a few minutes earlier and I could have got out there a little bit sooner in order to find a more compelling composition, but I don't necessarily think this one is bad. I just think that maybe it could have been more interesting, but again, it's really hard to beat that light and I really loved the way that this one came out. The final morning on day five was cold 
it was clear. Sunrise was all right, but I didn't really spend any time taking photos. It was nothing too exciting. There was frost all over the bushes, so I waited until the sun came up before I started moving. I wanted to dry out a little bit of my gear, and then I was off. The hike started with a little bit of uphill, but the rest of the day after this was all downhill. The views were fantastic, just like every other day. Thank you so much for joining me. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're able to pick up on some tips that I think about when I'm out shooting. And if nothing else, hopefully you just got a little bit of inspiration in seeing this absolutely stunning area in Wyoming's Wind River Range. Certainly it was a trip that I will remember for a long time. I got a ton of great photos. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. We'll wrap things up here by just sharing a few of the images again that I was able to shoot on the trip. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.